New Center Maine's Chris Costa joins us now to debunk a few of these myths. Chris? Well, Pat and Cindy, at 4 o'clock, we explained why doctors say the shot is safe, effective, and encouraged for pregnant and breastfeeding moms. At 5.30, we verified that the shot does not affect either men's or women's fertilities. Now we're tackling another question, a claim that the vaccines contain fetal tissue. And this question comes from a viewer right here in Maine. Let's start with the claim. The question comes from Mainer Chet Hibbert in Emden. And so what we would like to know is, are there any fetal tissue in the vaccines uh, that are being used today? This question has been a moral issue for people against abortion and cite this as a reason for not getting the COVID-19 vaccine. For the answer, we go to firsthand sources. NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information under the National Institutes of Health, Los Angeles County Public Health, and Nebraska Medicine's Dr. James Lawler, an infectious disease expert and practicing Catholic. The answer is no. The COVID-19 vaccines do not contain any aborted fetal tissue, according to Dr. Lawler and LA County Public Health. But the vaccines do involve fetal cell lines, according to these sources. Dr. Lawler said those are cells that grow in a laboratory. They descend from cells taken from abortions in the 1970s and 80s. LA County Public Health says any vaccine that relies on these historic cell lines will not require nor solicit new abortions. Dr. Lawler said current fetal cell lines are thousands of generations removed from the original fetal tissue. They do not contain any tissue from a fetus. He said the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines use these cell lines in the research and development phases, while the J&J &J vaccine used them in the production and manufacturing phases. A statement from the Catholic Church says it is morally acceptable to receive COVID-19 vaccines that have used cell lines from aborted fetuses in their research and production process. So we can verify that claim that the vaccines contain fetal tissue is false, but with important context. The vaccines do use cells derived from fetuses aborted decades ago in certain parts of the research, development, production, and manufacturing. 